those turtles had been recorded using subsonic frequencies. They call out to the hatchlings and the hatchlings follow the adults up river where the hatchlings will grow. All right, dude, get going. Oh man, that's so rad. Gotta be careful with this one now because there happened to be caiman in there. What is it doing? It's, uh, is it nibbling algae or trying to hide underneath the female caiman? How oh, amazing. Hey, what's going on everyone? Ken in here. Today we are going to be hanging out with three new turtles that I got from my buddy Josh Farger at Aquatics and Exotics. This is the yellow spotted Amazon River Turtle. Or Podocnemis unifilis. All right, guys, so I'm really excited. Um, I went in to visit with my buddy Josh today, and uh, I noticed he had these larger adult males just kind of hanging out in the tank, and he actually needed room uh, for some more animals, so he gifted these to me. Isn't that really cool? Um, if he wants them back, he can have them back whenever, but uh, right now, this is really cool. I'm uh, going to take care of them because this is a species I've worked with in the past, and in fact, I gave Fred a huge colony of these guys. They have become adults. Right now, Brooke's looking after them. Uh, next week, I'm actually gonna bring one of the males over so I can swap it out for a female. So we'll get a female or two in this pond. And uh, we're also gonna check and see uh, what the sex ratios are uh, at Fred's house. So we're gonna go visit there soon. But here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take these guys and I'm gonna put one up here in this enclosure. And then I'm gonna take the other two and put them in the other enclosure at Cayman Creek. Uh, these guys are found in South America. They are found uh, with Cayman. They are really beautiful species. They start out very, very small, of course. Uh, they call them yellow spotted because when they're young, their carapace has the yellow spots, but the only thing that keeps the yellow is that beautiful head. Now, the name Podocnemis uh, is a genera name. It's a genus name. And in that genus, there are a few different turtles. There's uh, Podocnemis erythocephala, which is a red-headed turtle. Uh, looks pretty much the same as this, but it's got a beautiful red head. And then there's Podocnemis expansa. And the funny thing is, is about the Expansa. They're a huge riverine turtle found in the Amazon, all throughout South America, river systems. Um, very large uh, turtle, which the Latin name Expansa should uh, give it away. But uh, basically, guys, those turtles have been recorded using subsonic frequencies, okay? Which means very low frequencies. And what they do is they lay their eggs, then they return to the river and they wait until the eggs hatch and because they use those frequencies they call out to the hatchlings and the hatchlings find their way towards the adults and they follow the adults up river where the hatchlings will grow very very cool stuff these guys are powerful swimmers they're incredible baskers so this log's going to get used here let's go ahead and let this guy go right now boop right down no problem these guys are going to be so excited to be living here at the camp. I am really thrilled. It is amazing. Um, I really love the species. These guys are an omnivore. They're gonna eat plant matter. They're gonna eat some uh, animal matter, just like most other, um, you know, freshwater turtles. Uh, really, really cool species there. Look at it already exploring around. And I like this because, you know, you gotta have um, some turtles in the pond because turtles, are the whole deal man they mix up the ground they they stir things up uh they're they're gonna eat a lot of the snails that are in here but anyhow up oh, look who it is it's louis or lucifer hanging out right here in his little cave he's just hanging about he can't hurt that turtle um they live with other caiman they live with spectacle caiman only very, very large caiman would be able to hurt that turtle. Uh, or if it was a baby turtle, then that would be a problem. But we should have absolutely no issues with the caiman and those uh, turtles. So I'm pretty excited about that. But here he is, good old Lucifer, just kind of peeking out to see what the heck's going on here. And as you can see, we've got this whole river system, this little creek system that these turtles can explore. They were quite popular many, many years ago. They were imported by the thousands 
hundreds of thousands uh, when they were, when it was like 40 years ago. Uh, unfortunately, now they're protected and you cannot sell this species outside the state of Florida. Uh, you can only sell them in state. I didn't even buy them, they were a gift. So basically that's what's going on. Let's see, let's go underwater and have a look, see what this little dude's up to. Pretty, sh not a very shy turtle. They're very pretty, they're very strong swimmers. You can see him getting, uh, he's talking a little bit to that Mexican musk turtle. He decides, nah, I'm gonna back away, but look at that. How awesome, man, the two turtles checking each other out. Let's watch for signs of aggression. But again, we've got a very large pond here. And the pond is big enough that these turtles can get out of each other's sight lines, and uh, that should be fine for them as well. So. Very, very cool stuff. I love it. Let's get back underwater, see what's going on there. Awesome, man. I love it. Oh, look who's coming to visit. The Mexican musk turtle's coming to visit me right now, but we are all about that beautiful yellow spotted Amazon river turtle. So cool, huh? I love it. I love it. So he's gonna explore this pond. Let's go ahead and get the other guys moved over and into their new pond, or creek rather. Uh, why I like this is it is kind of like a little river system. So uh, once again, Aquascape, man, they just always outdo themselves when it comes to this stuff. So let's just walk right over here and we'll put the other two in this other pond and see how they interact with the Cayman here. So awesome, man. There's always something fun and I'm so happy that I can provide a nice home for these really beautiful turtles. Definitely a favorite of mine. Let's put one up in this pool and we'll put the other in that pool. All right, let's see. This is pretty. What a beauty, huh? All right, dude, get going. Oh man, that's so rad. Awesome, huh? So they've got a cave they can hide out in. Plenty of algae to eat, plenty of snails, little fish, little tadpoles. So these turtles are gonna be just very happy in this enclosure. Uh, that one already looking for a place to hide. That's what turtles will do. They're gonna have to get a little used to being out here, uh, but right now they're gonna be exploring and just checking out the new digs, man. Such cool little turtles. I love it. And what do you say, next week we'll pull one out, we'll bring it over to Fred's house and hang out with Brooke, catch up with everyone over there and see if we could get a female. Females are much larger. Um, I just think it would be neat to have a pair uh, hanging out in here. Eventually, all of those are gonna make their way over to this enclosure um, as they were my turtles, but I just wanna, you know, I don't really need to take everything. Certainly, Brooke has been doing a great job taking care of all the animals there too. Look at that little guy, look at that little guy. All right, this is cool. My dream of having my South American river system is uh, totally coming true. Let's grab this last one and get it out here. Hey, little guy, and these are a side neck. I don't know if I mentioned that. You see how he pulls his head into the side? So they are found south of the equator. They are in fact side necks, uh, but they're a short side neck species, not a snake neck species, but there are some snake neck species in South America. All right, here we go. I gotta be careful with this one now because there happened to be caiman in there. Oh my gosh, he's totally looking at the caiman, no drama. But you see how well they swim? Such a beautiful species. Look at all the algae flowing. We're gonna get some plecos in here, some algae eaters, and uh, I think it'll be a really good addition to cut down on some of this algae. I mentioned it not long ago that the reason we have so much algae is water temperatures have risen being that it's now, um, you know, that it's now summer. And uh, what needs to happen is all the plants that I've planted around the margins, you see these little alocasia, uh, you see the canna lilies out back there, all of those need to really mature and they need to kind of starve out the algae. And then this will reach an equilibrium where there'll be a little algae and then a lot of plants. So it's pretty cool. Look at this turtle. What is that turtle doing? What is it doing? It's, uh, is it nibbling algae or trying to hide underneath the female caiman? How amazing. That is awesome. What a cool species. And what an ability for us to kind of keep them here, keep them happy and keep them healthy. 
in this beautiful enclosure. I mean, come on. They'll even eat some of the mango that fall from the tree. And that tree is gonna take off in the next few years now that it's got a nice water source. And uh, boy, is that gonna be something else. But meanwhile, this little one is just hanging out next to that caiman. What is it doing? It's sniffing the caiman like, hey, what are you? Wild. Oh, she's moving a little. So rad. It's so awesome to see these guys explore and check out the new habitat. Wild. There's the male. He's over here. That is the big boy. There's the little lady. And there is our new turtle buddy. Just sniffing around. Let's head back over here and see what this one's up to. It looks like they're pretty happy in these new habitats. How could they not be, huh? Nice flowing water. Hey, this guy looks like he's got, had some algae hanging off his mouth, but I guess not. Maybe he just went through it. Look at that. And they'll be able to wander on land. They'll be able to wander down these waterfalls. They're not very drastic waterfalls, so it's not gonna hurt them. Um, this is just, this is gonna be my favorite enclosure, I can tell. I can't wait to get more fish in here too. We're gonna get some tetras and plecos and it'll be a proper South American river system. Oh my gosh, it's so cool seeing them uh, just exploring everything. What an amazing opportunity. So rad. This other guy's just hanging out right by those caiman. That's a nice deep pool. Water feels great. He's still just checking things out. There's with the male, right? There is the big boy. But they don't even care about this little dude. That is fantastic. I can't wait to come out and see these guys basking on the logs here. They're gonna be basking on the rocks. They're gonna be just having the best time in this habitat. So really, really good stuff. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too, man. Really awesome. Thanks to Josh from Aquatics and Exotic. Um, I just really love this species. And uh, when I saw them today, I didn't even have to ask. He's like, hey man, do you want these? take care of them for me and I was like no problem so there you go everybody another video we got some new animals here for Cayman Creek something I wanted the South American yellow spotted river turtle Podicnemus unifilis hope you guys love the video let me know what you think of those three beauties that we put in the pond today and I hope you are having fun wherever you may be see you soon